I just want this to be an encouragement for you to use what you have. I fuck with Shawty cause she bought a business, ayy. She independent and she on a mission, ayy. Been through some shit but now it's better living. What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you click that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment down below. Hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today, I don't know what today going to be. It might be an entrepreneur vlog or it might be a part of a weekly vlog. I'm trying to decide. But either way, we about to go to Home Depot. And this is my Home Depot outfit. Let me, let me model. What's poppin'? Brand new whip, just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that like stocking. Y'all, I look a mess. I just put on all my pinks today. I, I felt like it, so I did. But yeah, we're about to go to Home Depot. First, I gotta make me some coffee. Then I gotta go print off some documents. And then we're going to Home Depot. And maybe a few other places. Because I gotta pick up some other things too, girl. But yeah, let's get going. Let's get started. Happy to see y'all. Hope y'all week has been going well. What's today? Because that might be important if it's going to be a weekly vlog. It's Saturday, September 18th. So let's go. Spend this holiday logging. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top end. I can put a ball in the end zone, put a bad bitch in the friend zone. This shit sound like an intro, jet song, give me that tempo. Ooh. Told cool, he a fool with the shit. Told her, don't let her friend zone. So, yeah, the other reason I'm using the printer at my apartment complex is because somehow I lost the whole printer. Like, during the moving process, I. My mama said it's not at home. It's not in my house. I'm just like, how do you lose a whole printer? I don't understand. I don't know where the printer is. Apparently it got up, walked away. And we haven't seen it since. <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah. Work, 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 work. To me, I mean work, 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 work. Okay, so I got my papers and now I'm headed to Home Depot. Hopefully they have what I need. I don't know. They probably won't, but we'll see when we get there. Ooh, so let's go. Y'all, Memphis rap just make me feel like a drug dealer. I can get to any destination in 0 0.3 seconds with some Memphis rap on. If you know, you know. But we made it to Home Depot. Nonetheless, we're here. So I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for like white acrylic sheets, like white plexiglass, not the clear. I need white. So I'm gonna look around first before I start asking because I love Home Depot, so it's okay. And what I'm trying to do is get something to create a background for photos of my product. I know what I want the background to be, but that's not gonna work. So I just decided to try the acrylic sheets and I'm also looking at towel because that could work too. Like if I find a towel that looks good, that I like, I might try that as well. I'm just trying to do something different and not have a regular background for product shots. <sighs> this towel is pretty. I kind of like this gray right here kind of but i really want to go with just the plain white something that's not doing too much okay so that was a fail they only have this long one this one 228 no ma'am that's not even what i need i need one like that size but those are clear i don't need clear i need white <sighs> So that sucks, but whatever. Maybe I should try Lowe's. Y'all think Lowe's are heavy? They might have some. I'm gonna go check Lowe's.
So Lowe's didn't have it either. So I might have to just rethink my whole thought process when it comes to how I wanted to present my product images. I'm probably just gonna have to just find another way. I'm trying to think. Because I wanted the acrylic sheet because of the reflection that it gives off, which isn't an important detail to some, but to me, like that's what I want to present. I want it to have, like when I set it on the acrylic sheet, I wanted that reflection off the. <sighs> I don't know. I'm about to sit here and Google something. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. Some way, somehow. I don't know. See, Home Depot and Lowe's both sell it, but I have to order it and then pick it up. The only thing with that is I really want to, I want to see it so I can make sure, okay, yeah, this is what I want. I might have to just have to order it, then pick it up, and if it's not, what, not really what I want, just return it. That's a lot, but I might have to do that. That's probably what I'm going to do at this point. Okay well whatever i will update y'all in a minute about what i'm about to do so so i put my thinking cap on and i think i may have come up with an idea as to how this can work with the clear acrylic sheet so i was thinking like maybe i could just get the clear acrylic sheet and a white poster board and just have that sitting under the acrylic sheet so it'll appear white but it's not and then that way i could get maybe different background contact paper and put that underneath the acrylic sheet and now i have a different background as well so i think i'm i'm gonna try that i think i'm gonna try that i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna get the clear and then i'm gonna find a white poster board of some sort and i'm going to um i'm gonna try to end this video so y'all will see if that works or not i think it will work though i honestly i don't see why not it might take some editing to get that white right but i think it's worth a try and if it doesn't work i'll just bring the clear one back so yeah let's let's go get that clear <laughs> i got the acrylic sheet i put it in my trunk and i have a white tablecloth that i use for a pop-up shop in my trunk so i'm like okay i can use that as the white background to see if this is gonna work so we're about to go home and just test this out real quick okay y'all so i'm back and i got the tablecloth i have the plexiglass plexiglass right there tablecloth right here and I thought about it. I was like, I don't think I've ever shown y'all how I have it set up in here. Like, what I have going on. So, I'm going to give y'all a quick little rundown of the room real quick, okay? So, at first I just had this um, clothing rack in here. But I decided to put this one up and just put both of them on the wall. Then I just have my nice little plant there. I don't know if that's going to stay like that. But it's like that for now because... I just can't figure out how I want that. Then I have my desk area right here with my sewing machine and have my heat press, my cutter. And then I have a clothing rack here with product on it and this um, another clothing shelf basically with product in it as well. And it's a lot of space actually. It's not cramped or anything. Like I have a lot of space to work with. That's that. So I'm just setting y'all up here and I'm about to like hang the tablecloth and kind of create a backdrop if that makes sense. So yeah. So basically I'm going to try to use this wall to hang the tablecloth and set it up like a backdrop. The tablecloth's kind of dirty but I'm just trying to make sure it works right now. And I'm going to have to wash this later. And probably iron it so these wrinkles won't be in the shot. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a panic on my wrist going nuts. Oh. Sorry, oh. I'm sorry. So here's the acrylic sheet. And I gotta pull this off.
it looks. Basically, plexiglass, you know, like they have at the stores now. So I'm going to just lay it down. Put the camera on it so y'all can see what's going on. I'm definitely going to have to iron this so wrinkles won't be in there. But we're just testing it right now, so no biggie. I'll use this chain sweatshirt as something to shoot. I'm loving the reflection aspect of this already. Always quality control before taking pictures. You don't want any little lint pieces or nothing. I'm going to take my ring light and just shine a little more light that way. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Can y'all see the reflection I was talking about? Yes, that's exactly what I want. Oh, okay. So now let's take the picture. Of course, I think I would take my pictures with the camera instead, but since I'm vlogging with the camera, I'm just going to use my phone for the test shot. Okay, so I'm trying to position the light right so that I won't have this extra um, extra reflection. You see that extra reflection on the side? I don't want that. I only want the one in the front, so I'm just going to have to reposition my ring light. Okay, let's see what we get this time. This is a good shot. Let me show y'all. See, has a reflection at the bottom and you can't really it's not as defined because this freaking tablecloth has a crease right here but I think it looks really good it's exactly what I wanted then the white background works out it looks just like a backdrop this is perfect like this is what I wanted I am satisfied so I'm just glad that this actually worked out and this is actually a really good photo studio setup for product images. So I'm very proud of this. I'm about to go wash this um, tablecloth, try to dry it and get some of those creases out. And then I'm probably just going to heat press the rest of them out as much as I can. I'm happy though. I'm so excited. Uh. Like, oh, I was sitting there like, I don't know. I can't find the white one, but this is perfect. And this one was cheaper because it's clear, but this is perfect. I'm happy. I like how the, the pictures, the test shots are turning out now. Of course, the actual photos would be much more, they would be more detailed, of course, and better. But this looks so good, man. This... I don't even think y'all can really see. This looks so good and crisp. Oh. Yes. Yeah, I'm showing by my photo studio. You got to bleep me out. Bleep, 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 bleep. Yeah, bleep. <laughs> it's nice, huh? Look at the picture I took. Dang. Oh, and my god. And I just need gosh. to wash this and get this straight in the end. You know. It'd be nice. Dude, you in here making magic happen. I mean, I'm in there watching football, not being productive. <laughs> <laughs> and you in, here, you in here making stuff happen. Yep. Well, good. This is like exactly what I wanted. I know it's a small detail, but it's a detail I cared about. Yeah. I like it. And I'm pretty sure you're going to figure some more stuff out, too. Oh, yeah. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us. They doing too much. Haven't done my taxes. I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping once. Okay, so what? Someone hits a block on my tape. So it's definitely the next day. <laughs> but I washed this tablecloth and dried it got the wrinkles out and everything and i was just taking some more shots i'll post like some pictures right here of what 
they came out to look like i'm loving it i'm loving the results and yeah i just want this to be i just want this to be encouragement for you to use what you have you know take your time think use what you have use what you can come up with you know what i'm saying like i wanted white acrylic in the beginning of this video but i couldn't find it so i just got what i could and used what i had in the trunk which was a white tablecloth i didn't even know i had this so it just came to me so don't stress and get so wound up if wanting a certain thing it's okay to just use what you got whatever you got figure it out you know take your time think on it and use what you got to create the look that you want or to create whatever vision you have for your business that's all i got for you guys though i'm definitely going to do more entrepreneurial vlogs as i grow and as i and as i do more things for the business i will come here and just let you guys know the things that i know teach you what i know until i learn more and when i learn more you guys will definitely know but thank you guys for watching make sure you like this video comment down below let me know what you think um subscribe stay tuned for more that's all i got may your curls pop in grind never stop flavor squad i'm out of here